y'all. Welcome to the Life After Her podcast with yours truly, Nicole and Sweeney. We are on episode number 44 entitled Good News and Bad News. In today's episode, Journey gets good news and Journey also gets some bad news. How many of you in your life have you ever received good news and some bad news. And when these moments happen in our lives, it can literally knock the wind out of our faith, out of our trust in God, out of the purpose that God may have for us, and even our dreams and hopes. And oftentimes, when we get the wind knocked out of us, we don't know what to do. And I've been in that place before. But there's hope. And I want to encourage you today. When you get the wind knocked out of your faith, here are five things that I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is to never stop talking to God. When things take an unexpected turn in our lives, it can cause us to withdraw from our relationship with God because we don't know what to do. We have uncertainty, we have fear, and oftentimes we feel like God has abandoned us. But take this opportunity to draw closer to God. And sometimes it may feel like an extreme effort to pray, to talk to God, to listen to God. And while it takes an extreme effort, just know that God is waiting on you. He's waiting to pour into you. He's waiting to give you a word of encouragement. He's waiting to love on you. So when those things in your life happen, where you get the wind knocked out of your faith, draw closer to that. The second thing that you should do is to center yourself, block out whatever noise that may be trying to enter into your soul. Sometimes when things happen in our lives, we could, we oftentimes run to our friends, our family, our coworkers, our pastors, our mentors, and we never take the opportunity to center ourselves and listen to exactly what God may be telling us or what we may need to hear from our own selves. Yes, Getting guidance and support from others is very, very important. But sometimes we just need a moment to stop, to center ourselves so that the outside doesn't influence what God is really trying to tell us. The third thing to do when you feel like you've gotten the wind knocked out of your faith is to find out what your stress relievers are and do it. One of the things that are always my go-to when I feel like the wind got knocked out of me is writing. Writing is a form of release and meditation for me. So it might look differently for you. Coloring might be your stress reliever. Watching comedies, watching horror movies, or watching, you know, positive faith-filled movies. It may be dancing, it may be working out, it may be going for a walk. It may be listening to music that soothes your soul. Whatever that stress reliever is, do it. The fourth thing to do is write, write, write. Sometimes writing is literally a release of what's going on in your mind onto paper. We have over 30,000 thoughts per day. And that is a lot to think about or a lot to manage when we have to make decisions on what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear, what decision we're going to make on our job with working with people, with teaching a student, with sharing information about a particular project that you're working on. That is a lot to manage in your mind. And so writing can be used as a form of release. And so if you're really not a pen and pencil 
and paper type of person, you can always write in your phone. You can type it out. You can use a coloring book or crayons or markers or a coloring pencil to write out whatever it is that you're feeling, that you're thinking, that you just need to release from your mental capacity because it can be a lot. So write, write, write. And the fifth thing you can do when you feel like the wind has been knocked out of your faith is to watch something funny. Watching something funny is also a stress reliever. It also will have the capacity to just boost your mood. And who doesn't love a good laugh? So whatever it is that makes you laugh, whether it's a comedian whether it's a funny movie that you just always enjoy and you've watched over and over again, no matter how many times you've seen it before and it always makes you laugh, watch that. Watch something funny. Or you can even listen to funny podcasts. I know podcasts are very popular nowadays and sometimes uh, comedians have certain things that they stream online, their stand-up comedy. So if you are in the hustle and bustle or need something to laugh at throughout your day, you can pop on a podcast and listen to something funny. And so I hope those five things will help you no matter what season you are in in your life, because life has a way of knocking the wind out of your faith. And I just hope that you remain encouraged. I hope that whatever it is that you may be experiencing, that you may be going through, that you will find things, resources to help you cope with life experiences because it can be difficult, but there is always hope for you. And today's affirmation is when God is on your side, you cannot fail. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to tune in next week and remember that God is proud of you. Peace.